up to our Rumble where we go live now most of the time, and you get to see a bunch of videos that, <laughs> well, that aren't with us anymore, and some new stuff. So be sure to check out the Rumble as well and sub. What's up, guys? Be sure to sub to the locals. You get to see a ton of content on here. It's only $4 a month. It really helps us out, obviously, with this platform being in limbo all the time. We don't know what's going to happen next, so be sure to sub to the locals. Bunch of content that's not with us anymore, and a bunch of new stuff, too, and stuff from 2019. So be sure to sub to the locals. It will be the pinned comment. It's only $4 a month, very cheap, and we got some spicy stinghouse footage on here. And we got some stuff that I'm very scared to release on this platform. So be sure to sub to locals. It lets us enable, it enables us to keep traveling the most and catching the sickest. All you gotta do, help support us here, four bucks a month. Anyway, enjoy the video. Be sure to sub to the Rumble too in the pinned comment. Messaging you on Facebook, all right? I got everything here, okay? I just wanna have a conversation with you, okay? I'm not trying to do this in front of him, all right? But we have every recorded video call saved, okay? So I just wanna have a conversation, all right? Just here to talk to you. Up to you, you don't have to, but I think we probably should because we do have everything saved, okay? Tell me your plan. Sure. Okay. What's your name, by the way? Gordon Flowers. Flowers. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet God, that is a that is a missionary handshake right there. That was that was, that was fierce. Sorry to meet you like this, Calvin. But I got two other people with me. Let's go over there. I don't want the leasing office kind of you know call nobody. <laughs> and I got two people with me. There's the reason why there's cameras is for safety reasons. So you can be assured, like we're not here to hurt you or take anything from you, ask for anything. Okay. Elder McGee, it's a pleasure. I know. This is probably going to be a shock to you, man. I'm, I don't. Does, does he, anybody know about this? Okay. So, you know, obviously, before we get into anything, how old is Emily, man? How old did she tell you? All right. Look, I understand, like, you're a very good dude, okay? I appreciate what you do for the church. I'm Mormon myself, okay? I'm originally from Provo. You know where that is, right? You're from Idaho, aren't you? Okay. I'm familiar with there, too. All right. So, look. Brother to brother, okay? I did, I did my mission trip a few years ago, okay? Look, I'm just here to have a conversation with you, okay? Just make sure everything's clean, all right? I'm not here to put you on blast, screw you over anything like that, but there needs to be some honesty, okay? There's one reason why we're standing with each other. Isn't there? You know, if Emily was an age that was, you know, you're 22, right? 20? Okay, I'm 27. If Emily was an age that was, you know, not so taboo, you wouldn't really be standing here, would you? Okay, so how old was she? I think she said she was 11. Okay. Is that what she said, or is that, is that what you think she said, or is that what she actually said? I think that's what she said. Okay. And you recall her telling you this? Okay. So, I mean, I, I gotta ask, man, because, you know, somebody as good-natured as you are that's obviously doing a lot of good things for the Hispanic community, you know, doing, they, speaking Spanish, stuff like that, I appreciate you doing that. When did this type of stuff all start for you, man? Because you're only 20, and, you know, I think getting this type of stuff addressed now is better than, you know, when you're 50 and shit, you know what I mean? So when does this type of stuff start for you, man? I'm not fully certain what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Please clarify just a little bit more. Okay. Well, the teen group stuff. S still don't know what that is. Okay. Well, isn't that where you and Emily met on the teen group? No. Okay. How did you guys find each other on Facebook? She came up as a suggested friend. Mm -hmm. I messaged saying, hey. Okay. She eventually messaged back. I thought it was a scammer. So I kept going with it. Okay, so she told you she was 11 here. Um, did she mention she lives here in Williamsburg? Okay. I mean, the conversation started pretty cordial and everything like that. Like, it was very, you know, school, I'm studying, you know, just a little back and forth cordial talk, I would say. But there were some unsent messages as well. I mean, you know, obviously the conversation kind of escalated a little bit. And, you know, it's... I, and I think, you know, someone like you, I think you're just kind of looking for maybe just a relationship with anybody in general. Is that more accurate? I genuinely thought it was a scammer. You genuinely thought it was a scammer. Okay. I a lot of that. a lot of, on Facebook. What do these scammers typically tell you? That they are looking for a relationship, that they are wanting um, eventually money. Um, but I was trying to provide that out. They're wanting money. Okay. Do, do also, how many scammers have you ran into, you think, on Facebook? 11 or 12. 11 or 12. Okay. Do any of the scammers, like, mention they're an age of under 18? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. And do these scammers have asking you for money? They do. Okay. Do they like video call you and stuff like that? They try to. Okay. Do they like actually video call or do they just try to video call you? They actually video call. And you see their face and stuff? I see what they put up on the screen. Okay. So is it actually a person or just a picture on the screen? It's a video. I don't know if it's actually that or not. Is it, are they talking with the lips moving in the same way? No, usually they never talk. Okay. Got it. Got it. 
When do the scammers typically ask, start asking you for money? Uh, a couple days in. Yeah. A couple days in? Okay. So, I mean, the conversation started very cordial, and then I think Emily asked you, um, do you like, you know, do you like young girls and stuff like that? And then I think you said, what do you mean, right? Okay. And before that, I mean, you know, at the very beginning, was asked here, so you're really 11, not just someone pretending to be an 11-year-old girl? And she said yes, and you said, any way to prove that? Yeah, how? And then that's when you asked the video call her, right, to see if she was real or not? Okay. Why did you want to see if she was real? If it's a scammer or not. Okay, if it's a scammer or not. Got it. And do you think she was probably going to ask you for money on the video call? I assume. Okay. Got it. I see. And then I think you guys went to Google Hangouts, right? For a little bit? Okay. On Google Hangouts, um, did she ever call you on there? It was just Facebook calls? Okay. So, see if it was a scammer or not. Okay. So, on Google Hangouts, I think she showed you conversations she was in with other people, that she was on these video calls with them, right? Okay. And that's when, that's when you said, we no longer need a video call. I think what's going on. I think what's, you know, I think you're real, something to that extent, right? Okay. Oh. You should probably tell them not to call anybody. But whatever you want to do. Guys. How's it going? How are you doing? Hi. Good. So can you tell me what's going on here? Because you're on private property. Oh, we can get off of here and go somewhere okay. else. That's private property as well. Okay. So when you said you had a package, you were being dishonest. Is that what you're saying? Now you're mic'd up and you have... So we just solicited our residents to come up here to meet with you for you to video them? Well, uh, there's... Is that accurate? There's kind of a situation going okay. on here. Are you a police officer? No, ma'am. Okay, good talk. Do you guys want to go? Feel free to go if you want. I think we should probably go talk somewhere in public then, Calvin. Okay. Go in public. Off property. Okay, that's right. Do you want to do that? Oh, it, yeah, I mean, I think I really need to talk to him. But I mean, it's fully up to you guys. But I think I need to talk to him about what's going on here. And off yeah, like can we can we just talk about it off the property. Sure. Okay. and I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here with with that. And I just want to give him a conversation. I mean, if you, I mean, it's totally up to him if he wants to talk, but I think it's probably best just having this conversation you're getting it addressed this way, you know? I'm just here to have a talk to you, dog. you guys are okay with that yeah. all right so on google hangouts you showed you in the video call with other people right? or showed her in the video call with other people right and that's when you said no you will don't worry to video call me and that was kind of an assumption like okay you're probably who you say you are right okay so is it fair to say that after she kind of verified with those photos that's when you started to believe because i think you said here verbatim um it's harder to, it's hard to believe you're here in williamsburg but it's easy to believe you're an 11 year old girl so I mean, to that extent right okay so is that when you truly believed like that she was actually probably a younger lady under 18? I never believed that. I just thought it would be easier for someone to say they're in a location rather mm -hmm. than pick their age. Okay, so here, I mean, verbatim it was said, verbatim it was said, it, it's easier to believe that you're 11 years old, okay? And, you know, obviously, you know, I know you don't really know until you actually meet somebody in person, I get that, but, you know, obviously, there was still talk that was going on, and, you know, if you mentioned that if you mention that these scammers are, you mentioned they ask you for money, this and that. Did Emily ever ask you for money? Okay. Did she ever hint that she wants a gift or anything like that? Okay. Did she ever mention that in the call? No. Did she ever, did she ever hang up the call and then say I want money from you? No. Okay. Did she ask you for any favors? Okay. So she's pretty different from all the other scammers, huh? Yeah, it had only been the day I think. Mm -hmm. to, so I was still waiting for the shoe to drop. You're still waiting for the shoe to drop. Okay. But do you, do you typically block the scammers after that after they ask you for money? Yeah. Have you ever given a scammer money? Yeah. Okay. So I mean, if you're waiting for the shoe to drop, I mean, it kind of got a little. I mean, the conversation got a little bit escalated. I mean, I think she was asked by you, "Do you want? Would you start an adult relationship? Would you start an adult relationship?" Do you remember asking her that? I don't. But okay. 
Okay. Do you remember the conversation getting a little bit escalated? It's there. Okay. Because on the recorded video call, I mean, you know, it's your voice, your face, and everything. I mean, were, were there, I mean, what most people call probably the video call on the conversation escalated? Yes. Okay. Who escalated it? Was it kind of both of you guys, just you or her? Or? I don't know. I you think maybe she got a little bit carried away? Yes. Okay. And I, and I get that, because, I mean, you know, are you really allowed to contact with females in the church and stuff like that? Uh, yeah. Like, you're allowed to have a relationship and whatnot? Uh, that's muddier. Right, that's right. That's initial. Right, so I think I think this is probably what stemmed. I think this is probably the reason why this happened and stuff like that. I think, you know, because you said here you were looking for an adult relationship, and, you know, obviously this can't be told to the church and whatnot, even if it was a lady over 18, you know what I mean? I think that kind of got you carried away, because, you know, you're only 20 years old, and, you know, your brain's not fully developed yet, so I totally understand that. <coughs> but, <coughs> you know, do any of these scammers tell you they're from here? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah? Okay. You see on my profile. I'm in Williamsburg. They yeah. Say, I'm in Williamsburg, too. Oh, yeah? Do they ever give you, do they ever say an address and a apartment number? They have? Yeah. When was the last time that happened? Uh, a month ago. A month ago? Okay, did that girl end up asking you for money? Okay, who was she? I don't remember. It was somebody on Facebook that I blocked. Okay. I'm just gonna hear you can just hold these real quick here. Okay. So I mean, what was the initial reason for reaching out to Emily? Was she just kind of was she just a little bit cute, maybe? And that's probably why. I mean, I know she's she not advertising her age on her profile or anything like that. Was she just kind of a good-looking girl, and you're just gonna hey, let's see what she says or something like that? It usually comes up on my recommended friends. I usually message them. Just say it. Okay, okay. I mean, so did it start off as just wanting to be friends? I'm just trying to do my work out here. It's the gospel. Mm -hmm. No, and I understand that, and I think this is more of just a hiccup rather than who you really are. I mean, I think this is just a little bit of a, like I said, just a little bit carried away. I mean, you know, but obviously, you know, there were, did you have each other added on Twitter as well? No. Okay, how did you know her Twitter got banned? Uh, it, was, it was on her story. It was on her story? Okay. Do you have a Twitter yourself? No. Okay. So you just have Facebook? Okay. Do you ever channel Telegram at all? I don't know what that is. Okay. You just have Facebook, Google Hangouts, and Instagram? I don't have Instagram. Okay. So here it said you really live, not just someone pretending to be an 11 year old girl. Yes. Anyway, to prove that, yeah. How? That might not work. So how about this? You just, you don't have to talk. I just want to see if you're 11 or not, okay? I am 11. Is that bad? We don't have to talk to that. Sorry. Okay. So again, why are you just trying to see if she was 11 or not? Okay. So if it was a scammer, what would you have done? Locked in left conversation. Okay. Okay. And that was why you're trying to video call him pretty much immediately. Okay. And then, you know, then had you believed it wasn't a scammer, that's when the conversation would have kept going. No. Okay. Well, you kind of contradicted yourself there, Calvin, because you see what, you see what just, happened, just happened right now? Because you kind of just said you were making sure if it was a scammer. And then, obviously, you said you would have blocked immediately if it was a scammer. And there's no blocking immediately. So that leaves one other option. There's a belief that it's a real person. And obviously, she showed her face on video call. And I think maybe I think maybe you ended up blocking because you're like, oh crap, this is getting crazy here, or something like that. But if you thought it was a scammer from your mouth, you would have just blocked her, okay? And I believe, you know, at first, you know, you don't know. She just said, I'm a letter from Williamsburg. That's different, okay? Then of course you want to verify. Because that's common sense. You would have verified with a 25 year old, okay? I don't think you verified because she was 11 or not. Then you would have just verified because it was someone in general talking to you. But when you say there's no need for a video call, that cements the fact that there was that you know that you're talking to a real person. I mean. I mean, you're a smart guy and an honest guy, but, and you know, I know why there would be, like, of course, the initial barrier, like, you know, I don't want to say this because it's, you know, it's not too flattering, you got your elder right here, I, I get that, but the reason you didn't block her immediately, and the reason you said, hey, you don't have to call anymore, this is good, after she sent you the video chats, right, the pictures of the video chats, is because, like, hey, I'm getting carried away right now, I'm not allowed to date anybody, and I'm finally a real person, and that's not a scammer, and I think that's what happened. I mean, is that correct? I mean, if you said if it was a scammer, you would have blocked immediately. But you said no need to video call, kept the conversation going. I mean, if Emily told you to stop talking to her, would you have? Yeah. Okay. So did you kind of continue it because it was just mutual mutual talk then? Yes. Okay. So is it fair to say you knew it was real, but you know you were making sure she was cool with it? Is that right? I still didn't believe that it was a real person, but I didn't know if it was a scammer, so I wasn't going to block it. Okay. So you didn't know if it was a scammer, didn't know if it was a real person. What other option is there? Want to confirm what? Okay, well, you confirmed she wasn't a scammer, hence is why I didn't ask for a video call until two days later. 
didn't do what? Didn't confirm if it was a scam or not, but okay. okay, well, why did you say you don't have to video call me now after she sent the images? I don't know. Okay. can tell you. Okay. I mean, obviously she sent the images saying, hey, I video called these people before, and then that's when you said you no longer have to video call me. I mean, obviously proving that she was in video calls with other people obviously made you say that. I mean, is that right? Is that a yes? Take it as well. Okay. And I mean, you know, like uh, the talk was just mostly cordial stuff, and that's why I think you kept it cordial for the most part rather than, you know, try to escalate it so quickly. I mean, it did escalate decently quick, like a few days later, but, you know, not immediately, you know, and I think, and I think that was because of her age, honestly. I mean, what do you think? I, what do you want me to say? I, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here, man. I was still trying to see if it was a real person or not, see mm. if it was someone trying to get money out of me. Yeah. And I escalated it eventually because mm. I wanted to prove whether or not it was. Okay. I mean, escalation to the point where, I mean, asking her for news and stuff like that. Why, why did that happen? I couldn't tell you. Okay. You think it was just kind of getting carried away? Yes. Okay. I mean, look, I know you're not all day just sitting around asking, you know, younger ladies for news all day. I mean, is this, was this, was her asking for news kind of just a one-time thing, or was this like something you do all, like what? Okay. I mean, it did go from like, you know, I'm knock on people's doors to just straight up, you know, I want to see you nude. I mean, what were you hoping when you asked that? Scare them off. To scare them off? Yes. Okay. So missionaries would go around knocking on doors, okay. So, so you did ask her to show a nude, but to scare her off. Say again? Yeah. Okay. And then on the video call too, <clears throat> also it was to show your show more news. I mean, show your breasts and stuff like that. I mean, what was that about? Were you, I mean, you're 20, pretty deep voice. You got testosterone rolling through you. Could be on the BYU football team, shit. But I mean, is that like, do you think you're ready to be bored and horny? No. No. Okay. So you asked for her to see her naked on a video call and you weren't horny when you asked that. Okay. Why did you ask that then? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. You just weren't thinking straight? Yeah. Okay. I mean, do you remember asking that? Not really. Okay, well, I mean, I can just play the audio right now. I mean, we could save each other both, we could both save each other time here, but I'm just asking, do you remember asking to see her nude? I was asking, what were you thinking when you saw her nude? Or when you were trying to see her nude? I mean, I could just play the audio, uh, you just saying that. I can pull it up in two seconds. Or you can just be honest. Do you remember seeing her nude, or asking to see her nude? I did. I don't fully remember it. Okay, but you remember that you asked that, though? It's there. No, I understand it's there. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to play the video. I think I'm just going to have to play the audio call, man. What do you want here? I'm just trying to figure out why this happened and if it'll ever happen again. Okay, well, I mean, Calvin, I mean, you're not dumb. I mean, gosh darn, you're a Mormon missionary. You're 20 years old doing extraordinary things in life already. Probably a straight-A student, right? Okay. Smart enough to be out here by yourself, right? Okay. I mean, you know, I know your memory's not this bad. I mean, I'm going to play the video call. I mean, I, we both know, and look, I understand it's tough to talk about, dude, okay? I'm really sorry to meet you like this, because otherwise we'd be pretty damn good friends. Are you into sports at all? Are you done? I, I mean, I, I can't. Want to see you. I can't hold you here. This. Okay. So I mean, I'm just saying, why would you ask to see this 11-year-old naked? I honestly don't know. I've got no answers for you at this time. Do you remember blocking her? Yeah. Okay. So you remember blocking her, but you just can't recall the call that happened right before you blocked her. Not very well. Okay, you just remember it was sexual. That's good. It was there, so. Okay, did you write the messages? I don't know what you want me to say. No, look, and, and I understand, like, dude, I genuinely understand that it is nerve-wracking to talk about, man, but... I mean, the fact is we have all the recordings. And look, dude, I mean, I'm really trying to do you a solid here, because, you know, I, I truly thought, like, the best of you, man. I thought that you would be honest as an LDS, but, dude, it's just getting to the point where it's just a lot of untruths being said or not the full truth, lying by omission, if you will, man. And, you know, I had this vision of you, no religion here, I had this vision of you, like a nice wall, that's okay, hey, this is a nice kid, he's only 20 years old, you know, this just happened, all right? The rest of his life shouldn't go to shit because of this one thing that happened, but 
after every untruth that I'm hearing, every lie, every ounce of BS, if you remember blogging, I can't remember two minutes before that asking for news, every ounce of BS, that wall is just being torn down bit by bit by bit by bit by bit. And, you know, I really don't think you need, I really don't think you need trouble. I just think you maybe need some help or just a boost. But every time you just lie, that wall is just being torn down brick by brick by brick. And I understand he's right there. It's not easy to talk about. But my God, I mean, you said it yourself. It's on the video call. It's on there. You remember Emily. And the very first thing you said is you don't remember her telling you she was 11 years old. Then you did. So there's obviously, if you can remember the very first thing in the conversation, but not the last, come on, man. You know you're just tearing down the wall of me giving a shit. Okay? So I'm having this conversation for you. I mean, you know what's there. You know what was said. I don't really need to have this talk with you. I think I have everything, you know. Oh, I'm not holding it here. But I mean, so I'm going to ask you again, dude. Be honest, Calvin. Do you remember asking to see her naked on video call? It's easy, but it's there. Okay, so you, you, you faintly remember it? I've been kind of sick the past few days. I've got a sinus infection. I'm feverish. Okay. I don't remember every single detail that's happened. Right, no, I don't remember. I know you don't have the transcript of it in your head, but you just remember saying something to the extent of show me you naked, et cetera, right? Sure. Okay, is that correct? Sure. Is it yes or no? Yes. Okay. And then, so that same night that you asked to see her naked, there was also asking her to come over. You remember saying that? I can't know if you're real until we meet in person. We've got places to go. I've got to go. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just letting you know I have the messages here. Okay. So what we're going to do, Calvin, is we're just going to go ahead and... Ah, oh, excuse me. Jesus Christ, this is embarrassing. Thanks, my friends. Hold it. Look, I understand you have places to be, but, you know, if I'm just getting straight up, I mean, just disrespect, dude, and, you know, I can't hold you, you don't have to talk to me, but if I'm just getting straight up just disrespect about this, and if you think that this, a recorded video call of you asking to see an 11 year old naked, isn't important, then, God damn, dude, it's just that wall being torn down again. <clears throat> now, if I were you, and again, you don't have to do anything. You can tell me to fuck off. If I were you, I would probably just go on without him because I'm not here to hurt him or anything like that, of course. That's worth him. <clears throat> Can't leave him? Well, then I would tell the head honcho something like, hey, we're in the middle of something here. But again, you don't have to. And if you don't, that's totally fine. That just makes the taste in my mouth more bitter. You know what I'm saying? I so, knew that coming here. So. Knew what coming here? You've got papers on the front videos. You know what <clears throat> yeah, I mean... I just wanted a conversation with him, and like the, you know, and, and again, you guys can leave at any time. You guys can leave at any. Well, well, Calvin, this isn't, you know, uh, this isn't just going to go away because you go away. Okay, so I think it's probably best that you just have this conversation here. And look, if you can't leave, you can't leave him. It's fine. I mean, you guys, I, I can, I can't restrain you guys. I can't do any of that. But there's obviously some foolery going on. Okay, and I think that this 20 year old whose life is about to, whose life could potentially have some ramifications because of something like this. I think it's just best we have this conversation, get it addressed. But you know, if he doesn't want to do that, that's all fine. That's all fine and dandy dude. I just don't understand your goal. If he says yes, all these things are true, what do you do? And if he says no, what do you do? I don't know, man. I don't know the answer, you know. I, I don't understand the goal of your conversation. The goal of the conversation is to figure out why this happened okay. and if it'll ever happen again. Do I believe it won't happen again? I just don't know because the way, honestly, the way that the way that you're acting, just kind of shielding him from all of this, I don't know, man. It, it's, in a way, it kind of seems like you're condoning it. I don't want to sound like that. Well, but you I, are. I'm sorry. We have dinner burning on the stove. We have an English class to go teach. And if you were to lure out here on false pretenses, sir, I think that's... I find that frustrating. I appreciate what you do. And we will talk... I will talk to him about this. We'll talk to our mission leadership if this is... Well, you can, you can address it however you want. I have a way that I want to address it, and I can't make you guys help me address it that way. Like, I can't make you guys stay here and talk, but I can recommend to them that, you know, <clears throat> I'm trying to do, as a fellow Mormon, genuinely, dude, I went on my mission to Puerto Rico, as a fellow Mormon, that I think it's best we stay and talk. But if you truly want to bring them to go, I mean, in the end, that's just, that's not what I'd recommend, you know? But that's up to you, man. I can't, I can't make you. So this conversation... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just a little off balance, and I don't understand your end goal. Is it to take him to the authorities? Is it to humiliate him here now? Is it to... Humiliate? So if I was I'm here to sorry. humiliate him, if I was here to humiliate him, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have politely asked you, like, hey, man, right. you probably shouldn't be here right now. I would have just told them what's going on. I would have told the people walking their dogs what's going on. So, obviously, humiliation isn't what I'm going for. Or I would have just said, hey, let's let's go near the apartments, and, you know, I can get a megaphone. You know, that's obviously not what I'm here for. 
But is it to take him to the authorities? Well, dude, I just don't know. I just think it's best he has to talk about it because... We've talked about it, sir. And this is... I didn't know anything about this. It's not going to happen again. But, you know, you can say that, but I, I want to be assured, too. And again, you don't have to assure me, but, like... It sounds like you're going to take any assurances. Well, I, a 20-minute well, conversation is what I came here for. I came a, Look, I came a long way to have a talk with him, okay? I moved back to Provo, okay? I came all the way here, wow. yeah, to figure out what's going on. So, at least I want the courtesy of just a thorough conversation. Because I understand, he's just a kid. He's 20 years old. But, gosh darn, man. I mean, I, I mean, I just think in, in, good, in good faith, being in the Mormon faith, that... I don't think this can just happen, and then you're just, ah, okay, guys, we gotta go. I mean, you can, I can't make you, but golly, I mean, if you want to talk about humiliation, I think us pretending to be like gay fathers, having us talk about him, I think that's more humiliating than, you know, what to do with him. I think that's more humiliating than just having a man-to-man -man conversation here. I, I, that's my opinion. I think. I must say. I am only up to that. I will be talking with Lannish and President. This will not happen again. That's just simply... Yes, it's, take it as you will. I'm going to play the rest of my part. We have to go. We really do have food burning on the stove. Well, we have an English class. I would, I would go. I would go uh, address the food burning on the stove. Like it just seems. Have a good night. Okay, so you know what? Okay. Well, Calvin. All right. Well, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you like one one more chance to just have this talk with me about what's going on here. Huh? No, I, I can't hold you. I'm giving you one more chance to have this conversation. All right. Until until I'm done with the talk and. You know, I'm giving you the chance, because look, dude, again, I can't make you, but, yes. but, yes, I messed up. What do okay. you want me to say now? What, what do you want me to address? Okay, I mean, did you say, I want a picture of you first, a picture of you with nothing on? Did you say that? Yes, I did. Okay. Calvin, look, dude, uh, Elder, Elder, Moy, I want 10 more minutes with him, if that's okay. Is that okay with you, Calvin? No, it's not. I, All right. We, we, we okay. I would ask that you stop here so we can go. It's not happening. We're calling the cops. I told you, dude. I told you. I told you. Hi, it's the. What's his apartment called? Okay. It's the. Uh, gosh darn. What's it called here? Um, it's the Fountains. It's the Founders Village Apartments. Okay. What's going on? There's an individual by the name of Calvin McGee who was soliciting nudes from who he believed to be an 11-year-old girl. And he, you know, and he, um, we, we confronted him on camera. He admitted to asking for nudes on this video call here. And he, uh, we just want to turn in the evidence to you guys. We're standing by him right now. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Alex Rosen, A-L-E-X-R-O-S-E-N. Okay, and a good phone number for you, sir? 832. You did and this. You have, the, you have the evidence on film? Yeah, we do. He, he admitted to it. You did this. You did this. Are you standing you. out there um, at the intersection at the entrance of the neighborhood? Um, no, we're like right in front of the leasing office. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with the Newport News firefighter that got arrested, um, but that we're the same guys. Okay. Okay, I actually have a couple officers that are headed over that way. Nice. Um, that are going to come out and talk to y'all and get everything worked out with you, okay? Sounds good. All right, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Dude, all you had to do is just let us talk, dude. That's all you had to do. That's all you had to do. You told me that you want to bring the authorities. We couldn't stay. <laughs> well, that'd be blackmail. I can't do that. I think it should have been, I think that should have been um, common sense, you know. I, should, I shouldn't have had to say it. You should have just so, used your brain and just figured that out. But I just wanted to have a conversation with that. All right? And Calvin, this is bullshit, man. Your own boy got you in trouble here, dude. I'm, I'm gonna give you another chance to tell me the fucking truth, okay? You said what you, I mean, you admitted to what you said, but you obviously saw she was 11 years old. That's why you didn't say you wanted to have sex with her verbatim in the chats. You knew she wasn't a scammer. She didn't ask you for money. She never did. She didn't ask you for any favors of you. And I think that's why you blocked her, because you knew she was real, and you said, I can't do this. Is that correct? Okay, so you knew she was real, and that's why you ended up blocking. Yes. Okay, so you did believe she was real at some point in the conversation then? Yes. Okay. Thank you for admitting that right in front of the cops, you scumbag.
law enforcement present, law enforcement present, law enforcement present, police presence, police presence, police presence. How's it going, sir? Um, this individual here, he was soliciting who he believed to be an 11 year old girl for her sex, um, or sexual activities, like soliciting nudes from her, um, inviting her over to, oh, attempting to invite her over to do some eggplant and tongue and water emoji stuff. And he admitted all this stuff on camera that he believed she was 11 years old. Are, are you familiar with the Newport News firefighter, sir? Yeah. That were the same guys. Okay. So, who are you two? Okay. He has nothing to do with what happened. I was just him. Okay. Huh? So, what are y'all out here for? We live here. You live here? Yeah. Oh, okay. And he approached some yeah. package for us. Yeah. Okay. So, it, yeah, where do y'all live at? Just, okay. So, y'all saw all this online? Or? Yes, sir. It's similar to the Newport News firefighter. Uh, Arrest, uh, we same decoy and everything. Uh, we pose an 11 year old online. Um, these individuals message us from various places. We tell them we live close to them. Um, they then very, get very sexual, like this guy did here, Calvin McGee. Um, he started soliciting news from who he thought was his kid. Um, obviously, we couldn't provide those, and that's when he ended up blocking us. And he invited her over to do some adult relationship stuff that she would have, that he would have told her in person. Okay. You got that and we have all the messages right there. They're all jumbled up. What's your take on this? What's going on? I saw the profile in my friend's feed on Facebook. I was upset. I started the conversation um, and eventually tried to solicit uh, names from this person who said they were 11 years old. Okay, so you, you knew this person to be potentially 11 years old and you were still asking that kind of stuff? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Can you talk to me real quick? Yeah, all good. Shit isn't okay, dude. That shit isn't okay. You can't just tell me that you need to go teach a fucking English class. I mean, you can. You can't just tell me you need to go teach a fucking English class when he's solicit when you got somebody. You know the church has a bad reputation already. And you're letting this shit fucking happen? I know you didn't know it was happening, but when you find out it is, you don't say, okay, well, you're just inconveniencing us, we gotta go. That's a fucking horrible look for the church, man. That's bullshit. The society's already getting too godless anyway. We're, no matter what religion you are, I'm not actually Mormon, dude, but no matter what religion you are, dude, it's getting too fucking godless where there's no fucking morals going around, and that shit is not fucking okay. Because even with hiccups like that happening, it's better to turn to God or Jesus or whatever than to be fucking godless, man. And just letting that shit happen, looking like you're condo Look, I know you're, you're not hitting up girls online. I know that. But look while you're condoning it like it's a fucking inconvenience, dude. He's 20 years old, man. He needs to own up to his fucking shit. You understand this. Are you from here? Me either. I'm from Houston. I came all over from Houston to talk to him, dude. And we have a YouTube channel. We're going to blow your face in the video. We're not putting you out there. And when I say your name, is it Moy? Okay, I'm not going to... I'm going to make sure that's going to sound like in the video, you know, okay? But, my God, man, there needs to be some fucking accountability. It's not a good look, dude. Not a good look.